One of the joys a parent can experience as their kiddo grows is to see the blossoming of their child's personality. One component of a person's personality is their temperament. Temperament refers to certain patterns in a person's behavior and the way they relate to the world. Are you happiest when busy or need a slower pace of life? Do you find change hard to cope with or just go with the flow? Are you overwhelmed by lots of noise or feel bored when it's quiet? All of these preferences are the product of how your brain works, based on your genes and your early environment. Each of us is born with a unique temperament. From the 1960s to the 1980s, Stella Chess and Alexander Thomas observed that newborns have different characteristic ways of responding to their environment and expressing themselves, and that these differences persist through childhood. How we perceive with our various senses, process those sensations in our brains, and react to them is generally a pretty hardwired pattern. As their studies continued, Chess and Thomas proposed that there are nine behavioral traits that fall under temperament. A person's level of physical activity, how they respond to new situations, either by withdrawing or approaching, how adaptable they are to change, how sensitive they are to stimulation, for example, sound, light, or touch, their attention span, their ability to be persistent in tasks, their general mood, how intensely they react to a situation, and the regularity and predictability of sleeping and eating behaviors. Although each person's temperament is unique, Chess and Thomas described three general types that still guide professionals and parents today. Children can be easy, difficult, or slow to warm. An easy child is pretty consistent in their sleeping and eating. They are generally curious and easily interested in new things. An easy child can be quickly and readily adaptable, as well as emotionally positive and generally low-key. Although the original term was difficult, we prefer the terms challenging or even spirited for a child who withdraws from unfamiliar situations and adapts slowly to change. They generally lack predictable sleeping, eating, and toileting behaviors and are usually intense or even negative in their overall emotions. Spirited children are often sensitive to stimulation, like taste, smell, sound, sensation, or even the moods and energy of others around them. However, these kids are often especially independent and insightful. A child who is slow to warm will initially withdraw from new situations, but come around as they warm up to the new person or place. They tend not to be as emotionally irritable as a difficult child, but can be more negative than an easy one. Even though temperament is usually used to describe a child, grown-ups also fall into these temperament ranges. It's important to consider the match between a parent and a child's temperament. We call this the goodness of fit, the compatibility between one's temperament, the circumstance, and their environment, which can be a person or a place. A child who is overstimulated by noise and activity might have a hard time getting to sleep on a family trip packed into a cabin with a dozen family members. An easy grandparent might harshly judge a slow-to-warm-up grandchild for not showing immediate excitement about their surprise visit. A child with a ton of energy and need for physical activity might have a hard time with a parent who tends to move more slowly and need downtime. Big differences between people in any relationship can cause differences in expectations from each other and can lead to tension. But even similarities in temperament can pose challenges for grown-ups and their kiddos. Since temperament has a strong genetic component, it is pretty common for a spirited parent to have a spirited child, an easy parent to have an easy child. You get the idea. Regardless of their own basic temperament, parents can choose to match their child's needs by adjusting to their child's temperament and being more mindful of their own. There is no right temperament. The words easy and difficult have positive and negative connotations, which can be misleading. The caution of someone who is slow to warm up can be protective, keeping them from approaching a strange dog that appears in the neighborhood who might then bite the hand of their easy sibling. The stubbornness of a supposedly difficult child serves them well when they stay firm against pressure from a peer to smoke a cigarette. Temperament gives us each strengths and challenges that follow us through life. This video was brought to you by the folks at Hello Joey, with special input from psychologist Neha Navsaria and our lead researcher, Rachel Solomon. For more information, head on over to hellojoey.com.